Mm. Voilà, pas de temps. Pas de belly. I know you know this, but look, we've had we've been in the dark for a, long, a little while here at the University of Fort Well, in Alice, you know, they had what they call they call load shedding. Hey, they can call it what it will. It just means that we can't work, you know, because you can't do no fifty ten or you know, anything like that. You know, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. You know, it's not terrible. Anyway, so now you have to I have to tell you this. Now, as you know, I'm African American. Which means that I have like an African mentality. I'm informed by Africa and a bunch of other places, but also I'm, I'm from North America, from the States. Which means I have that what we call ingenuity. Now, the reason why I say ingenuity, I don't want to put us above everybody else in the States or something like that. But you know, you have a lot of people from all over the place. You know, uh, 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 coming to you know coming to America, so you have a little bit of not the melt, but an intellectual melting pot for the people who want to do it. Of course, there's forces in the states that want to separate things, and you know, and they're downtrodden, and all the rest of that stuff. But we're not talking about that. Mm. You know. Now let me explain what I'm talking about. Last time I was in the states, I went and bought this hat. It's a fine hat. Let me show you something here about this hat. See that? Oh, wait, 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 don't, don't, don't go no place here. Look at that. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Ha, 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 It's American ingenuity, you know. So what I'm saying is, when it's dark, you know, I can move around and, and see what's going on. Now, it's most important for me because, you see, I tend my garden usually at night or early in the morning. I know there's some light up whatever happened. But the thing is, lately I've been noticing, well, the snails have been, you know, I let, I let them eat some kale and stuff like that. But, you know, they've been on my kale, they've been on my broccoli, of course, they was on my radish, you know what I mean? Who knows what these snails are doing, you know? And I'm going like, hey, I can't get, now, if I got a duck, you know what I mean? The duck would eat the snails, that would be all right. I said, Phew. So first thing I do, I have my I have my other walking stick, my blue and white walking stick. I go out there and I beat the I beat the kale and the snails, knock off. Now, okay, listen, listen, listen. I don't want you to be mad at me, nothing like that. And the karma and all the rest of that stuff. I know we're not in India, but you know you're not supposed to you know kill animals. But this wasn't my my doing. I'm just saying, you know. So what I did was I take take the snails and I put them in a jar, put some water in it. There's this plant that happened in the backyard. It is a cousin of the aloe plant put that in the in the thing too. And of course the snails, <clears throat> they die. Rest in peace, snailies. Young and old, a uh, uh, intergenerational snails, they, you know. But what's going to happen, what's happening, you know. Actually, there's somebody else wanted this. Uh, I won't get into that part. So now what's going to happen, I have this medicine. Now this snail stuff is actually good for eczema for your skin. You know, so I want to see this other guy is going to make up the medicine because, you know, I'm not going to practice medicine. I have a medical background, well, whatever, but I don't practice medicine. I mean, I took the Hippocratic Oath and all that stuff, so I want to do good and all that stuff. But, you know, so hopefully my garden not only is going to have, a, like, food to eat, but medicine is going to come from my little plot. That's good, I think. That's what, like I said, that's what I call Again, I don't want to push it, but let's call it African-American ingenuity. There it is. So anyway, this is no, no disrespect on any other cultures because we're all in this together, you know, including the animals and, and, and all this stuff. So anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director. Of America. So that would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.